Right, before I actually get into this video guys, I just want to let you know I am no pro at wheelie and I am very far from it. I've just taught myself from watching YouTube videos and um, riding bikes in my past and stuff, but I am no pro at wheelie and neither do I condone people wheelie and while riding around on the streets. So I've come to a side road next to a draw carriageway, it's a bit more noisy than a normal road so I've got less chance of police turning up. But I do not condone wheeling around the streets, like, it just, just don't do it. I mean, I do do it now and then, but it's only when the streets are completely empty, but it's still stupid to do. But the main thing you need to get over, get over when you want to start wheeling is the fear of falling off. That is going to be your biggest limit right there, is being scared of falling off. You cannot be scared, you know, you're not going to be wheeling fast to start off with. Stop being so scared, you're not made of glass, you're not going to fall off the back and then that's it, you're done, it's fucking over. Wear helmet, you know, wear gear, um, I'm wearing full gear apart from shoes, that's, that's about it. I should wear shoes as well, I'm on a moped and I look stupid as it is. But yeah, the biggest limit you're going to have is, it's you, you're going to be your biggest limit from stopping you to wheelie. It's just being scared of falling off the back, you know, if you've got a good rear brake, Mine ain't too good, but I've adjusted it to how I want it, and that's because I want it to have the slack so it feels more comfortable in my hand. But, so the first thing you need to get over is... Why is that bike covered in grass? Um, is falling off the back. Stop being scared of it. You're not going to fall off the back as long as you're... You're confident, I guess. So the thing you want to start off with is, you want to know, make sure your bike's got enough power to actually come up before you try this. Because you're going to look like an idiot riding around going like that, trying to lift it. But my bike comes up very easily, but that's because the front end of it's so light. There's literally nothing there. There's so light, and I've got a few performance parts, so it actually comes up a bit easier. So the first thing I started doing when I'm wheeling, I mean, this isn't going to work for everyone. If, if you're a pussy, why don't don't even watch this? It's not going to help you because you're still going to be a pussy at the end of the video. But the best way to start off is push down and then up. So, and then when you um pull up. You want to obviously throttle, but not don't go full throttle because if you do, you're going to come up so fast, so violently, you are going to come off the back. You want to ease into this, so bounce. And you also got something, I'm, I'm guessing this isn't the first video you've watched about wheeling, so you have a balance point, and you need to kind of learn where that is. That's only when you want to keep your wheelie going perfectly, uh, you know, somewhat the speed that you're going already. You're going to slow down a bit sometimes. You need to figure that out. But it's when you're first coming up into the wheelie is when you want to figure out if you want to stay at the speed or go fast. If you want to stay at the speed, you need to try to keep your balance there as much as possible without getting to your balance point so you can keep the throttle on more without coming off the back. So as you're like rising, say my balance point's like here. I want to keep it like here and keep throttling because then I can pick up more speed. So I'm going to bounce it again. So bounce and I lift. Obviously I can't keep this bike in a straight line, but that's only because it's a bit bumpy here and the road is uneven and my wheels are just like pushing around in the bump and I'm not the best at wheeling. When I'm on a normal straight road or something I'm not too bad, but... So that's... It's, it's mainly your balance point right now, as you want to get to. You want to learn where your balance point is, and you can start picking up from there. So we see my balance point on this bike is right about here. It is a lot easier to wheelie on a moped than it is, like, something where your, your brakes on your foot. You have more control with your hand. But that's me personally anyway, I suck at wheeling and i got to use my foot as a brake. But I haven't really taken the time to learn that. So, yeah. But, so, number one is obviously be getting over your fear of falling off the back. Don't be scared of it, you're not going to hurt yourself loads, you're not going to fucking die. And then the second one is making sure your bike's got enough power. Mine has, so you just need to check yours. 
Um, just because you've got 50cc as well, it doesn't mean you're not going to be able to wheelie it. You can have more restrictions at uh, 50cc with a four-stroke moped. I don't know why they make them so shit, they just do. I don't know a huge deal about mopeds, but every four-stroke moped I've ridden has been a heap of shit. So, lift. Straight into the balance point. Another good one is just lifting, getting into your balance point, and then seeing if you can keep it there. I mean, I'm not very good at it. I'm still learning. I don't wheelie a lot because police always end up turning up. So balance point, no throttle, but. So as well, after you've kind of got it down, you can get the bike up in the air, but you can't like keep it in a straight line. The thing you want to start doing from then is you want to have your feet on the edge of the panels where your footrest is sit into a position where you're comfy and then when you bring it up you want to just put your knee out you can like lean your knee out to bring your balance back or you can just put your foot out as well and you put it out more the way you want to go because if you want to go more right you actually put your whole leg out to the right i'm not going to say this is perfect i've never done like a wheelie tutorial before and i've never watched an actual wheelie tutorial i'm just kind of going off how i taught myself But I'm not sure if this will help anyone, but if it does, then just let me know or just tell me I fucking suck and that I should stop wheeling myself and that I shouldn't be telling people how to wheelie when I can't wheelie that good myself, you know, all that, all that good stuff. I'm expecting all of it, but it happens. I'm not going to wheelie till I'm past the kid. So if this video did help you guys, just let me know in the comments below. Like the video if it did help as well. And subscribe if you're new around here. I plan to do vlogs and stuff. This is going to be like my second video on my channel if I upload it now. But um, I better go because I just realised there's someone in that van just up here. And no doubt he's probably already called the police. So it's time to go, right there, that van, someone in it. See, wheelie it's easy as long as you're not scared of falling off the back. It will be your biggest limit, I'm not just saying that. That was my biggest limit when learning to wheelie. If I was scared of falling off the back, I was going to fall off the back. And that did actually happen so many times until the point where I was no longer scared to fall off the back. I was like, do you know what? What's the point of being scared? I'm not actually hurting myself that much. Stop being a fucking bitch. And then boom. I could, from then on, wheelie somewhat. If this did enjoy, smash that like button guys. I will see you in the next video which I upload soon, which will probably be a motor vlog me just going around, riding around, talking a load of crap and actually explaining why I want to do motor vlogging and you know do I have any past experience with riding and all that stuff and blah blah blah. But I'll see you guys in the next video, so adios.